Hello, this presentation is entitled Identification of U.S. Germplasm Resistant to Peanut Smut. This project began in 2017 as a USDA ARS reaction to stakeholder concerns about peanut smut and the threat that this disease poses to the U.S. peanut industry. It is ongoing and is a joint effort between scientists at the USDA ARS, INTA of Argentina, the University of Georgia, Oklahoma State University, and the Hudson Alpha Institute of Biotechnology. And this project is largely funded by Mars Wrigley Confectionery and the USDA ARS. Peanut smut is a soil-borne fungal disease caused by the Coffra frizzii. It was first described in 1962, infecting wild peanut in Brazil. The disease did not appear in commercial peanut fields until 1995, when it was reported in Argentina. Localized infection of peanut by this fungus produces hypertrophy of pods and seeds. Colonized cells in the seed pods are deformed and replaced with a smutted mass formed by teleospores, which is the inoculum source for the disease. Peanut smut has spread throughout Argentina and is now reported into in 100% of peanut producing fields. Disease incident, incidence and severity varies with location, but yield reductions as high as 51% have been reported. The rapid spread of this disease has caused great concern in Argentina and within the peanut research and production communities worldwide, including the U.S. Although peanut smut is not currently found in the U.S., stakeholders are urging for proactive measures to be taken so that the industry will not be threatened by this disease if, if uh, the pathogen arrives in the U.S. This project addresses the peanut industry's concerns by initiating screening efforts to identify germplasm resistant to peanut smut. This research necessitates partnerships with Argentina where phenotyping of the germplasm collections available and breeding lines can be done without introducing the pathogen into the United States. In 2017 through 2020, 209 peanut genotypes were tested for smut resistance in Argentina under heavy disease pressure. Entries that exhibited more than 10% of disease were not tested for another year since our focus was to identify sources of resistance that could be used to develop resistant cultivars. The observed incidence of SMUT in this study ranged from 0 to 84.2% with a mean incidence of 17.3. The resistant control averaged 0.19% disease incidence, while the susceptible, susceptible control averaged 24.8 disease incidence. Significant differences in disease incidence were noted among the entries. As shown in Table 1 of this slide, 27 of the entries tested demonstrated less than 10% disease incidence for three consecutive years, with eight of those exhibiting immunity. All entries exhibiting less than 10% disease were U.S. peanut minicore accessions, with the exception of cultivar TIF NV High OL that was developed by Holbrook. Of the entries tested, 20% exhibited ex extreme susceptibility to smut infection, above that of the susceptible control. Disease incidents recorded for the majority of the entries tested fell in a range between those of the accepted resistant and susceptible controls. As mentioned, this work is ongoing. We are currently confirming resistance in additional entries and screening other germplasm collections for use, useful resistant sources. All germplasm used in this study was purified by single seed descent before testing and retained in the US. And therefore the entries identified as resistant in this study will serve as a valuable resource for peanut breeding programs across the globe. I would like to thank my cooperators on this project as well as the Mars Wrigley Confectionery Company for initiating and funding this important research. Thank you.